Hi everyone. Uh, glad to have all you here for this paper sharing session. I'm Yuling Wang. Today I'm excited to talk about our research uh, titled Can Small Language Models Be Good Listeners for Sequential Recommendation? Uh, representing my co-authors as well. Uh, in this presentation, I will share our research in three parts. First up, let's discuss the background behind our study. As we all know, sequential recommendation is widely used in uh, various applications be because it's really good at tracking how users' interests change over time. Uh, but some, uh, there are some problems with current methods, but uh, they often trend on closed-loop user-item interaction data size, which means uh, they end up with biases towards a popular item, and uh, they might miss out uh, uh, on showing users less common items they might actually like. Uh, to show you what I mean, let's take a look at uh, this picture on the right. Uh, mm, uh, we are using the T5 model as an example uh, to look at the item of frequency distribution in the training site and also in the recommendations it spits out. Uh, turns out uh, long tail items constitute uh, a larger proportion in real world data set, but uh, the traditional models just keep in pushing the uh, popular item uh, with a frequency higher than 20. Uh, thankfully, recent advancements in LMs like GPT 3.5 and GPT 4 showcase uh, uh, remarkable reasoning capabilities, offering significant uh, potential to tackle the isolation faced by uh, real world sequential recommenders. Uh, trained on excessive data size, RMs pose vast uh, open world knowledge, enabling them to mimic human like thinking and reasoning. Uh, in general, uh, current uh, RM post recommendations uh, can be uh, divided into two main categories. One is RM as a ranker. Here, the frozen RM is uh, tasked with providing a well organized uh, item list that match user interests. Uh, however, relying solely on the third shot or field shot uh, learning of RMs for short compared to tradi traditional sequential recommenders that leverage in domain collaborative uh, knowledge. So another is RM as a uh, knowledge enhancer to address the about limitations. The RM initially generates uh, rich knowledge, which is the line integrated with a classical recommendation to gather in domain knowledge and the collaborative signals. Uh, in general, uh, recent uh, research indicates that combining both uh, open world knowledge with the domain specific knowledge typically yields more uh, promising performance. Uh, while arms for recommendation hold permits, they also face significant challenges that cannot be ignored. Uh, one challenge uh, we face is that the uh, outstanding reasoning ability of RM in recommendation hasn't been fully explored uh, because there is a gap between the open world nature and how recommendations uh, operate. Uh, so the recomm uh, lo recommendation knowledge they generate might not always be accurate or relevant. So another big challenge is the extremely high resources needed, which are simply uh, too expensive to handle, uh, requiring specialized uh, infrastructure uh, to run smoothly. So it's a uh, question. Can a language model with affordable cost still uh, summarize an effective reasoning engine for sequential recommendation? Uh, next up, to check, uh, tackle the question I mentioned uh, earlier, I'll introduce our proposed uh, framework theme. All right, let's take a closer look at how this model operates. The theme is composed of three main modules. Uh, firstly, we develop the step-by-step -step knowledge distillation module. Here, we are transforming the reasoning scales from the larger teacher model to the smaller student model. 
So next, uh, we move on to using our smaller language model uh, as a knowledge enhancer for sequential recommendation. Uh, we have designed the knowledge encoding module uh, that takes the test from both the item side and the sequence side and maps it into a unified semantic space. Uh, finally, we took all, all that encoded knowledge and uh, integrated into any sequential recommendation backbone we want, uh, whether it's ID-based or ID-agnostic. Uh, this helps us improve upon traditional recommendations that heavily rely on training with user item interactions. Uh, uh, let's, uh, let's delve deeper into uh, the special workings of each module. Uh, to enjoy the incredible listening power of RMs in recommendation scenarios, we have implemented a chain of thought prompting for the larger teacher model. Here, we are guiding the larger teacher model to do some deep, deep thinking from the micro picture down to the micro uh, details. Uh, this helps us cover comprehensive basis from user preference to special products, which are crucial for providing a uh, appropriate uh, interpretable re re recommendations. Uh, plus, we are, guide, uh, we are guiding RM thinker in a step-by-step -step way. And here, check out the example on the right. So this method, the teacher model can generate informative uh, recommendation rationals in response. Then to ensure that the smaller student model can also acquire the impressive reasoning skills uh, of uh, previously mentioned RMs, we collect the uh, rationals produced by the teacher model as our target uh, labors to fine tune the smaller student model. So when we give the smaller student model an instruction like uh, uh, P sub U uh, prime, we train it with the parameters theta to produce the corresponding uh, chain of thought original uh, R sub U uh, prime. Essentially, we are optimizing the uh, negative log likelihood of the conditional language modeling uh, objective as shown in equation one. Uh, thanks to the distilling process, uh, the smaller student model, which has only 4% of the parameters of the larger teacher model, starts thinking step by step and becomes quite the impressive listeners. Uh, since conventional sequential recommendation cannot directly uh, make use of the larger natural language rationals, uh, we are exploring the integration of these regionals uh, generated by the small language model into the recommendation process. So first of all, we are leveraging the uh, pre-trained language model that built to output knowledge representations as shown in uh, equation two. Then we are uh, integrating this knowledge representation into the uh, traditional recommendation backbone using an uh, information theory layer as demonstrated in equation three. Uh, this is uh, an uh, effective way uh, combines the open world uh, reasoning knowledge with the in domain uh, collaborative signals. We are also checking out a direct way to use this uh, regional uh, representation in ID agnostic scenarios. Uh, in this set of, setup, the representations of the regional can directly match, match up with uh, similar item test as displayed in equation four. Uh, finally, I will talk about the experiments we did. Uh, all right, let's let dive into the main experiments. The table shows the results from both ID-based and ID-agnostic scenarios. Uh, the finding suggests that the smaller RM can better take into account the recommendation-related information after this distillation, uh, greatly improving the performance of traditional recommendations. Uh, next up, I'll take a look at this uh, real-life example from the Amazon data side. We got this example uh, item to be predicted is a long-tail item that only appeared once in the training site, uh, making it uh, a challenging for traditional models to predict uh, successfully. 
Ohio with the assistance of I'm slim can uh, successfully evolve uh, your words peripherals uh, in natural language and accurately uh, predicts that the user may purchase uh, for them back. Uh, clearly, Slim's uh, reasoning can fix up the uh, predictions made by traditional models and uh, improve the, the interpretability of the model. More Slim can alleviate the concept problem and check it out in uh, Figure 8. We look at how both the traditional model and our Slim to uh, performance for different user groups. Uh, Slim does a lot better, especially for the uh, users in less active groups like uh, Group 1. Uh, furthermore, take a look at uh, Figure B. Uh, unlike the traditional models, Pathwick Slim does a better job recommending less popular items. That's right, it's uh, a little bit of popularity uh, bias. In the end, we'll check out from the aspects such as time, parameter size, API calls, and the data efficiency. Uh, compared to the uh, current SOTA um, based uh, recommendations, Slim will uh, to be more resource efficient. Uh, we also conduct additional experiments such as generalization and the uh, uh, size of student model and some more case studies uh, for more details so please uh, uh, refer to our people or uh, our person the paper uh, thank you for, uh, thanks for joining us today any questions